Let's get this party started. How's it going everyone? This is Joy Auto and um, in this video I'm going to show you how to get Catwoman um, free from uh, Waller's task force because I know this is like been a problem. It was, this was a problem for me because um, I was like I made the deal with Waller on the roof to get Catwoman free but when I went through my first time in episode 5 it didn't let her go. Waller didn't let her go. It said in my choice that she was, I wasn't able to free her. It was like what the heck's going on? I made the deal. So I went back, redid it a couple more times, and I figured out what choices or what options you have to say in order to choices, options, whatever you want to call them, in order to get Catwoman free. So I, in this video, I will show you how to get Catwoman free from Waller's task force for good, so she'll no longer be collared. Okay, so first thing that's gonna happen, guys, in order to get Catwoman free, is you're gonna have to go through the scene right here where these guys are coming in. You know, Waller's got Bane, Harley, and Catwoman all under her thumb and caught them collared or whatever. One wrong move, she shocks them or whatever, right? So this is what I choose. I choose. I chose to say release Catwoman, and then after that, basically she'll you hit her with the evidence that Agent Avesta just gave you. And then what you want to do is um, shoot. I gotta get my phone. Tell her to let Catwoman go, and then she'll say she'll want John Doe in return. After that, you're gonna want to say it's a deal. I honestly didn't check the second options you were having if you just leave if you just leave without saying it's a deal. So, what I recommend is just click, it's a deal, because I don't know what will happen, and plus it'll save you a lot of trouble if you want to, because like, otherwise you'll have, to probably have to go, you'll have to go through the whole thing again just to say it's a deal if you click leave, because I don't know if it'll work or not. It might though, but you can try it, but personally I don't feel like doing it because it's just like, I'm just like too busy to do it. Okay, so, this is, again, this is only if you're, if you're the vigilante, because I haven't gone through the villain ending yet. So, if you're at the vigilante ending after you save Waller from Vigilante Joker, She's gonna you. She's gonna say you know I owe you one. For, she's gonna owe you one for saving your life. And you want now you want to click you oh that she does owe you. And then that will say he will collect on it. And then that will get you to that will really get Waller to release Catwoman. And then I'll be back to show you the choice my choice. And then I'll show you guys that it does work. Okay, I'm back. So um here's my relationship with Catwoman. And as you can see at the bottom, it says that she was freed from Waller's task force. So. That is how you get Catwoman freed from Waller, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a couple of people are probably wondering how to do this. I was one of those people. It took me a couple of tries to go through this episode to get it right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you all next time when I redo this game doing alternate choices, which is going to suck when I have to do when I end up signing with Waller to see how it affects the game.